the, the way I think about technology, and this is based on just observing trends in the last uh, two decades, is to distinguish between platform technologies and individual applications or devices. Uh, if you look at, say, advances in information and communications technologies, you can divide it up into two very clear uh, sections. Those that relate to devices, mobile phones as devices. Uh, but if you look at the underlying base, which is the knowledge base, which is the information and communication as a, pl as a, as a platform technology, it has a huge impact on a very wide range of sectors. It affects the way we provide uh, medical care, the way we monitor uh, changes in the environment. Uh, it affects every aspect of our life. But much of the focus has been on the devices and then it gets reduced to kind of single applications. So if you look at it in terms of uh, platform technologies, uh, we've already seen the benefits of information and communications technologies that are not being debated anymore. Uh, the next frontier is really going to be genomics, our advanced understanding in the way organisms function and being able to decode basically the, the software behind living organisms and get to a point where we can start uh, to make adjustments and modifications in that software to serve human needs, to solve environmental problems. Uh, so the combination between information and communications technologies and advances in genomics is going to create huge opportunities for developing countries. In fact, leapfrog many of the challenges that they have today, whether it's challenges related to production of of food or challenges related to management of the environment.